the show is titled Renegades, and it's all about Bruce Goff, Herb Green, and a cadre of faculty who brought an innovative pedagogy, a way of teaching architecture to the University of Oklahoma. Perhaps more importantly, that pedagogy that they developed influenced and continues to shape the way we teach architecture across the country in all schools of architecture. So it was groundbreaking in the sense that the faculty treated the students as individuals and sought to bring out their individual creativity and, and, and foster that creative spirit and allow them to become individuals and design in the way that they wanted to design, pursue their own interests, not like um, the Bauhaus or Beaux-Arts tradition where the students were taught to do things a specific way, right? That there was one kind of solution for a particular kind of problem. That wasn't the case um, under the um, under Bruce Goff. I became dean of the Gibbs College in 2016. I launched what we refer to as the American School Project. And the American School Project is all about uh, highlighting in many different forms uh, our great legacy uh, and highlighting it for our students as well as for our faculty, prospective students, and in many ways it's also about celebrating our, all of our alumni. So the American School Project has featured uh, symposia, it's featuring this exhibition, we are just uh, publishing a book that's come out this month to, as a companion piece to the Renegades exhibit. We've just received an NEA grant uh, that will allow us to begin a database, an online database, that helps us document and share uh, the stories of so many American school architects and designers. So it's an ongoing project, the American School Project, uh, but it's one that's very much about celebrating and identifying our history, but also starting to lay the groundwork for our relevance in the challenges that lie ahead for Oklahoma's and our collective future. The, the curator set up a, a show which is divided into three parts and it, it kind of it explains where the College of Architecture was before Bruce Goff arrived and, and the, 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 you know, the thought about whether to follow the Beaux-Arts or the Bauhaus model of education which were the two most popular kinds of ways to teach in the United States at the time. So that's the first part of the show. The second part of the show is the, the time period when Bruce Goff was here as the chair of the department, and that was from 1947 until 1955. So in the main area of the show, we're talking about and showing work that was done by faculty and students during that time. And then the third part of the show is the legacy of the American school. <laughs>